Good afternoon, everybody. This is Maximum Overdrive, the creator of Think Tank UI Remastered. I am just making a feature video to show you all how the UI works if you haven't ever used it before. Um, and, uh, as you can see, all my uh, player frames, target frames, all those are hidden uh, until I'm actually in combat. Uh, I like it that way. It kind of leaves your screen a little more open when you're running around the world trying to defeat the Legion. So, um, as you all know, I try to put updates out pretty regularly. Uh, one update that will be coming is uh, I'm actually changing out DBM to bigwigs. I have found that I prefer it much more. Um, it actually sets up with the, uh, the reflux too, so when you go slash reflux think tank UI, it will actually set it up for you, just like everything else in the UI. Also, the uh, XIV data bar at the bottom here has a uh, a profile setting too that runs with uh, the ACE 3 configuration so it'll also work with Reflux. So everything in the UI will now be able to be updated through the updater either in Curse or uh, the LVY updater uh, the Tuck UI updater rather to update LVY so nothing will be messed with, settings will be changed, nothing will be lost. Um, uh, the only thing you'll have to do is if I make some major changes or I added some things that you might have to copy over like the Raven profile or the Raven save variables or something like that, but other than that, um, after this next one, you shouldn't have to mess with your LVY config at all. I have it now set pretty much where I want it. I moved everything down a little bit too, so it um, when the boss mod stuff comes up, it's not kind of overriding your character. So hopefully, you all enjoy that. I'm gonna run into some combat here and show you uh, some Raven stuff because uh, Raven right now, some of you don't know how Raven works or what it does. Uh, that's kind of the whole point of this UI kind of tells you all the information you want to know right up front. It's in your face, you see it, and you can understand what it does for you and your character. Um, on the left side here, I'll even show you, uh, unlock all my anchors. Uh, here I've got every single class um, and every role for each class, so I mean they're all part of each class, so I'm not having like multiple, multiple uh, bars, but I have one for every class. Um, they're all hidden when you're on other classes, so they won't show up randomly. But, um, basically, all your buffs will show up here. I think there's like seven or eight of them it can go to. Uh, same thing for debuffs on the target that you put. So they go this way. Uh, target of target debuffs. So, say my target's like putting a debuff on me, it'll show here as well as here on the debuff. So if you're a healer, this also works really good to see if you've got a debuff on your target. If you're not using... Uh, the raid frames with things set up like that, though I do have the raid frames set up so that will show debuffs. Uh, I've got a special buff bar here. It shows tank and healer cooldowns. Um, if they're either targeting a tank or a healer, so say you're using pain suppression on a tank as a healer, um, it will show up on this bar for them so they know they're being targeted by it so they cannot waste a, a specific cooldown or maybe they want to combine it with one of their own so that they can be a little more uh, alive at the end of a fight, you could say. Uh, same thing for healers, uh, there's a couple things like Innervate, or like a, like a Mass Innervate or something like that, so you can actually see when that's up on you, so you know if you can cast your spells for free, or whatever it might be. Um, the target buff bar is down here. Um, got some hidden action bars. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much the general gist everything so I'm gonna lock all these anchors and let's go to some combat you can see the bars as they pop up you understand how they all work let's just jump them out and make this faster alright so there's the bar I was talking about the tank and healer bar also my buffs have shown up I'm out of range. So if I like uh, put this on the ground, you can see what I'm talking about. There's a, a debuff that I put on the target. And we're gonna get a little bit more fighting here. There's the damage in. Damage out. That's pretty much that. It's not a whole lot of uh, 
things going on with the UI. It's really simple. It just shows you everything you want to know as a, a DPS, a healer, or a tank. And uh, I will say I did put about 10, 12 hours into the Raven profile setting all those up because I had to go through every class, go through all their spell books for every role, look at all the talents, which I haven't done PvP talents, so if you're doing PvP, don't expect some of those to be in there yet because I haven't got that far. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to do for that too. And uh, I may not even put those in because this is just probably going to be a PvE style UI. Um, I can make another video in the future showing how to set up Raven, so if you want to add in your own stuff for the PvP talents, that's more than fine. Uh, unless for some reason I kind of get into the PvP hardcore and then I'll have to do it just for my own sake. But uh, I'm glad you're using this UI. Uh, I think Tank UI has been a a bit of a journey for me. It started out of something else. Uh, didn't even remotely look as cool as this. And uh, now it's all set up to how I like it. My wife uses it. She plays well. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for all watching this video. I Maybe mean, like and share it if you want. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the future. Happy hunting.